What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. My voice is slowly coming back to me, but just to warn you, I might still have a little bit of congestion going on as I get through COVID. Today was my first day back in the gym, so it was nice to actually rejoin the real world, so to speak. And today's video, we're going to cover UKG, AFA, and CAS loose graded vintage Star Wars figures. And as you can see by the thumbnail, <clears throat> a number of different really nice Spanish figures, PBP and POX, sold fairly recently at auction. I wanted to bid so bad. I really did, but I held off and I'm really trying to keep my spending in check as I grow more and more concerned about real estate and where my business is headed over the next year. So I was really good, but I get to live vicariously through some of you guys. I, hopefully some of y'all were able to pick up some of these really good deals and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look. And as always, thanks to my Patreon supporters. I really appreciate the channel support. Let's dig in. All right. First of all, this one really shocked me on the upper end of the scale. Most of the ones I've got in here are auctions. Okay. But a few buy it now situations really surprised me on the prices. And this was one of them. This was a China COO, Luke Farmboy, blonde hair, dark pants. And it, it was certainly nice. Don't get me wrong, but it's AFA 85 and it had the older case style. It was listed for $949 plus $14.99 shipping. So let's call that $965 for a loose graded, fairly common Luke Farm Boy. I, I don't feel like the Chinas are particularly difficult to find. And, you know, the torso on that, to me, looks a little bit yellowed. I, I may, it might just be the lighting or, or my optical illusions or my COVID brain. I don't know. But it, it does seem like it's got a slight yellow tint to it. Tint to it. But anyway, it's still sold for $949. That just seems like a really, really large price given that, I mean, gosh, I have one of these and I don't think I paid anywhere close to this price, albeit it was several years ago when I bought mine. But it's a beautiful figure. I'm not trying to, to disparage it at all. And maybe that's the going rate for an AFA 85 farm boy these days. I don't know, but I, I at least wanted to point that one out. Uh, next up was another shocker on the upper end of the scale, and that is a blue snaggle tooth. It was graded only 70 by CAS and man, I, you know, I've, t I've talked about this in past videos about how all of the grading companies really hammer, hammer, uh, uh, snaggle tooth. This is not hammerhead, but I, I just can't figure out why it got a 70. I mean, I know it's got some to torso discoloration, which was probably the main detractor. It does have a little bit of wear in the belt. It certainly has a little bit of wear to the boots, but the boots are in really great shape overall. The hands are nice and clean. The face is clean. Um, to me, it seems like this one was undergraded, and that's probably why it sold a lot higher than what I expected. For a 70 grade, I would guess, I don't know, 550 to 600. Uh, this one sold for $800, and honestly, it does present a lot nicer than a 70 grade. I mean, there's no getting around that. And, you know, th that's the first thing that the graders look for is the discoloration in the torso. It starts to turn more of a greenish blue instead of the, the normal blue color that you see with the limbs. So that's probably what drove the price, drove the grade down the most. But to me, I, I, to me, that's a 75 at, at worst, a 75 grade, in my opinion. Uh, but it still sold for $800. And I think, it, like I said, it's just because whoever bought it deemed that to be in better shape than a 70. And I would agree, it presents a lot nicer. Next up is a Floating D Chewbacca PBP Spanish figure. This was sold by a good buddy of mine named Adam. And um, this one was graded UKG 80% at auction. It sold for $92.50 plus shipping. And this is another variant that I don't have. We just covered some recent pickups in my video, uh, in a recent video where I talked about the circle on foot variation Spanish PBP that I have, but I don't have this Floating D. And this is a good one to get. I think this was a great buy at $92.50. Beautiful figure, brand new case style. Next up is a Palatoy Tri-Logo Boba Fett. And, you know, I, I, I assume that this is, I would consider this to be a PBP figure, but it was, it's always kind of just known as the Tri-Logo Boba Fett, as it's labeled there. Uncracked limbs, unpainted knee, unpainted dart, no COO scar. Figure 90%. Paint 80% for an overall 85. I was watching this and I wanted to buy it so bad. It just looks so beautiful in that brand new case style. I do not have the light blue Scar COO Boba Fett yet in my collection. That's one I've got to get at some point. This one sold listed for 500 pounds. Uh, it, it was a best offer accepted. But I, to me, that was a great buy. I, I really watched that one and I was so tempted. I just didn't want to spend that kind of money. But I think that was a great buy. It was a beautiful, beautiful example of the Fett. And as you guys know, there's a number of different examples with a painted dart, painted knee. This is the unpainted dart, unpainted knee, and then all kinds of different belt colors as well. So 
Beautiful figure. Congratulations to the buyer. Uh, here was an AFA 85 ATAT -AT driver. That sold for $315. $315 took that one home. That was a Hong Kong COO. A little high to me, but, you know, it's, it is tough to find these in an AFA 85. There's just all, all, oftentimes a lot of wear on that figure. It, it really, all that white re and really shows, uh, you know, scratches and things like that around the hands and then on the butt area, particularly, there's, there usually can be uh, quite a bit of wear on that one. But for an AFA 85, that's the first time I've seen one in a while, and the price reflected that, 315 bucks. Uh, next up was an AFA 80 plus Dengar Hong Kong COO. I mean, the, the, the seller didn't even really show the labels that well on these items I'm getting ready to show you, but that one sold for $87 plus $825 shipping, a brand new case style. Pretty good example there. Uh, he also had an AFA 85 plus Hong Kong biker scout. And again, I think you need to have better photos show the label on it. It was just kind of like a, you know, iffy photos, I'd say. But you don't see an AFA 85 plus biker scout very often, and the price reflected that, even though it did have the older case style, $377 and change plus $825 shipping. And then he also had an AFA 85 Zuckus with no circles on the heels or knees. This is just the plain Zuckus Hong Kong without those indentations on the back of, of the knees and legs. Uh, but that one sold for $89. I thought that was a great buy plus $825 shipping. Uh, next up was another Zuckus. This one did have the circles on the backs of the knees and heels and was also the Hong Kong variation. It was a CAS 85. That one sold for a little bit more money, $113.50 with the brand new case style that CAS offers. I, I, I wish they would go back to the recessed accessory cases, kind of like what UKG does and AFA does, but uh, the brackets are probably here to stay, unfortunately. But that was a beautiful example, and uh, the price was more than fair, in my opinion. Uh, same seller also had an AFA 85 Hong Kong Forlom. I don't know how this got the, the, the 85. I mean, it just seems like there's a lot of creases on that cape and robe for, for Forlom, but... I guess that's what it is, and they don't detract nearly as much as I would expect them to. But I've got an AFA 80 plus, same figure, and uh, I would argue that mine looks to be in better shape. But oftentimes the eyes on Forlom are where the wear shows up, and on the mouth, the, the breathing apparatus piece, uh, th that will show some scratches on it, which I think mine does have that. Uh, again, that one sold for $169 plus $589 shipping. I thought that was a pretty fair deal. Uh, next up, this seller relisted a couple of items, and that always is a warning sign for me. So just be careful. I have bought from this seller before. I've always been happy. But when I see items get relisted, you know, it does raise some eyebrows. And that, this one was an AFA 85 Brown Snake Yoda. That one resold again for $322 plus shipping. And then also his AFA 85 plus Imperial Guard got relisted. That sold for $239.40 plus shipping. So again, I'm, I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but it just raises eyebrows when uh, they relist items. It could be that the buyer didn't pay the, for the items and he had to relist them. That does happen. It's happened to me. So again, I'm not accusing him, but all I'm saying is just be aware that, that those were relists. Uh, next up, I've got some beautiful UKG graded items that Character Building 77 sold. I bought from this seller before. been very happy. This was a UKG 90 made in Taiwan. Uh, Luke Jedi, and that one sold for 191 pounds or 218 US dollars plus shipping. Brand new case style. Great deal. Great buy. 218 bucks for a 90 grade Luke Jedi Taiwan. Fantastic deal. Uh, he also had an, a, a UKG 85% EV99, last 17 figure. Uh, again, it was graded 85%. That one sold for 342 pounds, which is about $390. Again, a very fair price given the condition. Uh, he also had several beautiful Spanish figures that I wanted to buy so bad. Uh, this was a NoCOO PBP IG88 graded UKG 80%. That sold for 260 pounds or about 300 US dollars worth every penny. I would pay that all day long. That's one I'm still needing. Uh, I very regularly see these sell for that price ungraded. So to get it, to get it graded AF, uh, UKG 80% for 260 pounds, I'd pay that all day long. What a fantastic buy. And again, this was the Smooth No COO IG88 Spanish PBP. Uh, this is the tough, one of the toughest pox to find, early Spanish pox, and that's the 21B Medical Droid. This was graded UKG 85%, um, and this one sold for 229 pounds, or about $261. I paid more than that for my UKG 80%. So whoever got that got a fantastic deal. And, uh, I, you know, it's, this is one of the tougher Spanish figures to find. I just, you don't see it come up very often. Uh, it's one of those Spanish figures that just uh, very rarely comes up graded, especially. And uh, there's the label on that. But it's got the Hong Kong COO, as all early Spanish figures do. And uh, 
that price was great. Very fair price. <coughs> Character building also had a Spanish PVP Han Solo graded UKG 80%. This is the Smooth No COO. That one sold for a very fair price of 81 pounds or about 92 bucks. I paid about 120 US for my UKG 85%. So this was a very fair discount in my opinion for a fairly common, easy to find PVP figure. Uh, next up, this is the one that I really wanted. This is a Spanish POC. It was only graded UKG 75% for the Sam people, but uh, again, a, a very, very difficult variant to find. The early Spanish POC. Tuscan Raider. I mean, I can't tell you. I, this is only maybe the second or third time I've ever seen one graded for sale. And uh, that one sold for 205 pounds or about 233 US dollars. Now, if this had been like an 85 grade, I bet you could double that price pretty easily. Uh, it's just very, very difficult to find that in high grade. And it's because of the wear. These early Spanish figures, the paint applications on them are so terrible. The paint quality just rubs right off. And as you can see with the horns and on the eyes and on the cheeks, that paint is rubbed off on this one. And that's why I got the 75%. You can also see some damage and some paint splash on the arm there, on the right-hand arm. Uh, the paint applications on all of these early Spanish figures, they just slapped them on there. Very poor paint apps. So uh, I, I've never seen a UKG 85% for a POC Tuscan Raider. The last one I saw was a UKG 80% that sold for around 400 US. So I think this price was more than fair for given the condition issues. Uh, next up, I've got a No COO Stormtrooper. It was graded 85%, beautiful, bright white. This would appear on like Palatoy cards or Palatoy tri logos. Tough to find, No COO, loose graded. That one sold for 133 pounds, which is about 151 US dollars. That is a strong buy. I would have bought that all day long if I had any money. Beautiful condition and a, a great pickup, whoever got that one. Uh, next up was a UKG 85% No COO ATAT -AT Commander. And this is another tough variant to find. This would be, again, like on Palatoy cards or Tri-Logos. And that one sold for best offer accepted 95 pounds. Brand new case style, beautiful figure, and very reasonable shipping costs. I bought from this seller as well and been very happy. Dexter's Deals, 1984. Uh, you can buy from that seller. Very, very trusted seller. But a beautiful figure and a very fair price. Finally, I've got an IG-88 that was graded CAS 90%. This is the gray body Hong Kong. Beautiful figure. And it was listed for $400 best offer accepted. And I apologize, I forgot to look up what the best offer was that was accepted before I started this video. So in the comments below, I'll pin a comment with the price once I look it up. But uh, beautiful figure. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess it's sold for $300. That's my guess. So uh, find out if I'm right or not when you look in the comments. And also comment below with any thoughts on these listings, whether you've picked up any nice loose graded figures recently. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.